So Tiago Santos and Glover Teixeira had a showdown at the main event of UFC Vegas Fight Night 13 on Saturday night. It ended up being with a submission loss for Tiago Santos, who was choked out in the third round. And now Santos would have come up the under the chin here. There it is. Glover Tiago Santos has sim since come out to say that he's embarrassed with the loss and he's ashamed of what happened. And I just got to say, Tiago Santos has nothing to be ashamed about. Yeah, he was dominated in the ground positions, but he was able, that was a good fight. He rocked Glover Texiera, almost finished him in the first round, and by the great, by some miracle, Glover powered through it. And Glover's a tough dude. He can do. He can get hit and keep going. Into it. Oh! Huge oh. limb right shots. He's hurt bad. Oh, from the early Santos power, and we've seen this so much. Bone hit the back of the head. The head is on him. Oh. Glover Teixeira has the body locked in now. He powers through the fight. He gets him down. During the first round, he didn't do a lot of damage on the ground. Tiago Santos, although he wasn't really trying to get up, was also striking back from the ground, which is not a good thing to do long term, but in the first round, he was able to inflict some of that. In the second round, he got dominated on the ground, like the entire round and almost finished at the very end of the round. A tight rear naked choke was in there and he was saved by the bell. Again, ladies and gentlemen. Waning yeah. seconds of oh. He survived. And I thought he was pretty much out at this point. There was no chance of him uh, winning this fight. But in the third round, he ended up knocking Glover Texiera down and f good on him. He didn't stand Glover Texiera up. He went in there and tried to finish him again. But Glover gets right in. Oh, that tells you how powerful Santos is. Look at this. Jeez. And had some good ground and pound until he gave too much space when he was on top position. And that allowed Glover Texiera to get up, go grab a leg, and switch to a takedown, soften him up. And by this point, I think Tiago had nothing left. And he finally did sink in the rear naked choke. Oh, Tiago Santos. And just keep scrambling and scrambling. Does right here. Got the both hooks in. Back and forth, back and forth. So when we think about it, we had two knockdowns from Santos. We had two almost, or two almost finishes from Santos. Almost a rear naked choke finish at the end of the second round. And a rear naked choke finish in the third round like that was an awesome fight with a lot of things happening Tiago Santos had two ACL surgeries he's been off for a long time he just came back and he gave us one hell of a fight it was awesome to watch I honestly thought it should have been fight of the night um, just because there was <laughs> there's so many chances for finishes in that fight and Tiago Santos is always dangerous on the feet so I don't think there's anything for him to be ashamed or embarrassed of. Uh, Tiago Santos, he did a great job coming back off those ACL injuries and then comes in and gives one hell of a performance and almost finishes Glover Texiera twice. I don't think he has anything to be embarrassed about. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you think that he should be embarrassed with that loss or do you think that he gave us one hell of a performance and he should be back stronger with more time to heal from those knee surgeries.